all the same. Okay, so you're going to have three of them. We're going to call that counterclaim its own, so we're not even going to worry about that right now. We're going to talk about these three body paragraphs. Why do we have three? Think of our thesis. Think of our direction. Sam, do you know why we have three? No? Let your hand was raised. Jack? Oh, no, no, not, not evidence. Austin? Three topics. Three topics are your three reasons. Okay, so each of those reasons in that thesis is going to be a paragraph. Okay? So body paragraph. All of these three are going to be the same. We're going to start with a transition word. And you guys have a list of words in your packet. They're also on Google Classroom. Okay? So we're going to start with the transition word, and that is going into our topic sentence, which is just our first reason. When I say that, that's your first direction, right? That reason and direction, that's what I'm talking about together. So it's a transition word into our topic sentence, which is our first reason. Once you have that written down, look in that yes or no packet, and I want you to find that list that is called evidence starters and elaboration starters. You have that list that's called evidence starters and elaboration starters. You're going to choose one from there. When it says introduction of your evidence, well, we need to introduce our evidence by choosing one from the list of our evidence starters, okay? Then we are going to state our evidence. Once we state our evidence, we always have to do what with evidence? We have to back, back it up, but, but is it your evidence or is it somebody else's evidence? What's that called? Cite it. We have to cite our evidence. So we're going to introduce our evidence by using one of those phrases. We're going to state our evidence and make sure we cite it in parentheses. Okay? Then we have another list of elaboration starters. We have to introduce our elaboration. We can't just start writing. And in that, we're going to then take that into two to three sentences of elaboration. Now, what does it mean to elaborate? What does it mean to elaborate? What do you think? A band. Um, to go into more detail. To go into more detail. Explain why that, what that evidence means. Explain how that relates to your topic. Okay? You have to explain. Just like in your think questions. We, cite, we, we state our evidence, right, and we cite it, and we elaborate, and we explain. Same process. That's why we started think questions at the beginning, and we started that process, okay? Then, all in the same paragraph, we're going to go to our second piece of evidence, and we're going to introduce the evidence, the second piece again, use a different st starter, then we're going to state the evidence and cite the evidence. Do you see that there's a pattern? It's the same, right? We just do it twice. And then we're going to introduce the elaboration. We elaborate the two to three sentences. And then we have that closing sentence. The closing sentence wraps up the paragraph. Sum up your main ideas. Okay? So if you follow, you have to follow these steps in your paragraph, okay? It must go in that order because otherwise you're not, if you put a piece of evidence and you don't elaborate on it, it means nothing, right? 
Or if you just elaborate and you don't have any evidence, your argument's not valid, right? Okay, so are there questions on these steps? Okay, you were given two sheets of paper. The one 